Earlier this year, I made the switch to Fathom Analytics. I took a quick look at how the event tracking worked, but something about all the code that was needed made me a little bit nervous to try it out. But earlier this week, I had a client come to me with a request to set up some tracking on his website, so I had to go ahead and dive in and take a look. And I'm really glad I did because it couldn't be easier to do. In this video, we're gonna look at three different events you can track. This includes a button click, a page load, and a form submission. Now I've included all the documentation you'll need to grab all the snippets of code down in the video description below. And I'm gonna be using Generate Press and Generate Blocks since it's my default stack, but you can take these same principles and apply them to just about any builder. So let's go ahead, dive in and take a look at how it works. We're gonna be referencing this page on Fathom's website several times throughout this demo, and there is a link down in the video description for this. Now for this first example, we're gonna actually track a button click. So on the admin bar's website, down at the very bottom, just above the footer, I have this call to action to request membership to join our group. But I'm not exactly sure how many times people are clicking that. But by setting up this event, I'll be able to track every time this is clicked. So let's go ahead and get started on setting this up. The first thing we'll need to do is jump inside of our Fathom dashboard. We're gonna to go to the event management tab and we're gonna create a new event. Now I already have some events as I was testing all this before. So for this demo, we're gonna go ahead and start every event name with demo, just so we know it's the ones we're working on now. We'll say footer button. And we'll go ahead and create the event. Now we're gonna need this event ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and we'll just paste it here into a notepad. The next thing we're gonna do is actually have to put a class name on this button. So this button lives inside my footer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that footer element and we'll give a class to this button. We'll click on the button and over on the right hand side, we'll give it a class. We'll go ahead and say FA for Fathom Analytics and we'll say footer button. Now we can save this now that the class is added to this button and we'll go ahead and copy this class and put it inside of our notepad just so we can reference it. Now that we got all this set up, we need to go ahead and grab the code we're gonna need from this page on Fathom. We're gonna scroll down here until we find this one that says anytime somebody clicks on a link with a class. We'll go ahead and grab this script and copy it. And we'll go back to our website and back to the dashboard. Here in Generate Press, we're gonna actually add this script using elements. So here on the element screen, we'll click add new element. And for the element type, we're gonna choose a hook. And we can give this a name, we'll call it FA footer button, just to be consistent, and we'll paste in that script. Now inside of the script, there's just two things that you need to replace. The first is the class name, and the second is the event ID you get from Fathom. So since we already copied these to our clipboard, we can go ahead and grab the class for the button, and we'll replace it here where it says class name. So we wanna make sure we have the opening quote mark, the closing quote mark, and the dot before the class name. So FA-footer button. Now we wanna go ahead and put the event ID in. So we'll go in here, copy our event ID, and paste it in, making sure we leave that open and quote mark intact. Now there's a couple other things you need to set inside this hook. The first is where the hook is actually gonna be placed at. For me, I wanna put this at the bottom of the DOM. So I'm gonna go ahead and put generate after footer content. This will just make sure it doesn't load until other things on the page load first. Next, in the display rules, we have to decide where we want this script to live. So what's nice about doing this inside of generate press elements is we can target only the pages we want this to fire off on and make sure we're not loading it on pages where it's not being used. Now in this example, the footer's on every page of the website, so we're gonna go ahead and select entire website, but you'll see in some examples later where we narrow this down to specific pages so we're not loading these JavaScript scripts where we don't need them. Now that we got all this set up, we're gonna go ahead and hit publish, and we'll go clear our cache. Now that all this is set up, all we need to do is test it. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and load our website inside of an incognito window, We'll scroll down here to the bottom and we'll click that button we just applied the class to. Now, if all this worked right, when we go inside of our Fathom Analytics dashboard, we should see this new demo event happening. We'll refresh this page, scroll down to our events, and sure enough, this demo footer button that we just set up has had one unique completion. So the button click event tracking is already set up and ready to go. So now I'll see every time that button is clicked. The next example we're gonna look at is firing off an event on page load. 
And this is really handy if you have some kind of thank you page after somebody registers or fills in a form. You could just set up this event to fire when the thank you page is loaded since nobody's gonna be loading that thank you page unless they complete that task. So to do that, we'll go ahead and jump back into our Fathom dashboard and set up a new event. Again, in the dashboard, we're going to Event Manager. We'll scroll down, we'll call this one Demo Page Load. And we'll hit Create Event. Again, we have this unique ID, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that now so we can reference it later. We'll clear these out of our notepad and paste that in. Now we need to go ahead and go to our Fathom documentation again, and we need to grab this one for events as a page load. So we'll go ahead and copy this script, and we'll go back into our dashboard, and we'll go to elements once again, add a new element, choose hook, and we'll call this FA page load. We're gonna paste in that new script, and all we need to do here is choose this event ID, which we just copied. We'll copy that again. We'll paste it in. And how we're gonna determine this is by targeting the display rules on which page we want this to load. So again, for the hook, I wanna scroll down and put this generate after footer content. And the display rules, I only want this script to fire on this thank you page. It's called Fathom Thank You. So we'll go back here to our hook into the display rules location. I'm gonna choose page. And I'm gonna do a search for Fathom Thank You. We'll go ahead and save this, publish it, clear our cache again. And then let's go ahead and copy this URL so we can paste it into an incognito window and test it. Now we've gone ahead and loaded this page. We can close that out, go back to our Fathom dashboard, refresh this, scroll down to our events, and we can see this demo page load. It's had one unique completion, the one we just did. So this one's good to go as well. However, if you're not using a thank you page, you can still do this on form submission, and that's gonna be the last one we take a look at here. We'll go here to this page I have set up for Fathom form demo, and we have a simple form on this page. It doesn't matter what content is in your form, just so long as we have a form. We'll go ahead and go back to our Fathom dashboard in the event management, and we're gonna add another one. We'll call this one demo form submission. We'll create the event, and we'll go ahead and copy this event ID, which we'll need here shortly. Clear out these old ones, and paste in this new event ID. So to do this one, it's a little bit more complicated, but pretty easy once you see how it's done. On this page, we're gonna right click and go into our inspector tool, and we're gonna find this form inside the code. So if we scroll up here, we can see that our form is right here. And what we need from this is the form ID. So in here, we're gonna click in here, and we're gonna copy this form ID, and we'll put it here inside of our notepad. Again, going back to the documentation, We'll go down here and it's this very last one. We'll go ahead and copy this code that we need, jump back to our website, and we'll go into our elements once again. Here we'll add a new element, choose hook, and hit create. Here we'll go with fa-form submission, and we'll paste in this code. Now one thing I did notice is on this documentation, on most of these, they have the opening and closing script tag, but on this one, they don't, so we do need to add that. So we'll go ahead and add a new line here and add script, and we'll take the closing and put it down at the bottom. Now we need to go ahead and replace in the form ID that we copied and the event ID from Fathom. So we'll open our notepad here, get that form ID, and we'll paste it in where it says ID of your form. We'll go to the notepad again, grab that ID from Fathom, paste that in. And I've gone ahead and already set this to generate after footer content and the display rules, I have it to this form demo page. We'll go ahead and hit update on this element and we'll go test it out. Again, we need to clear the cache and we'll grab the URL from this page so we can open it up in an incognito window. Now that the page is loaded, we can submit the form. And now that that's done, we'll go back to our Fathom dashboard, refresh it, 
And as we scroll down, we should see now in the events, we have this demo form submission that's been completed one time. So if like me, you felt a little intimidated about doing event tracking inside Fathom, I hope that you can see from this demo that it's actually quite simple to pull off. Hopefully this will help you track more things inside of your Fathom Analytics dashboard, and you know that you can do this privately and securely through their really awesome platform. If you wanna check out more information on Fathom, I did interview the co-founders earlier this year. Those links are down in the video description. They go into a lot of detail about why they decided to start a privacy-first analytics solution, and it's a really interesting conversation.